You do this every single minute, but you're not doing it the right way. Hey there, this is Coach Chris Wilson here in the Critical Bench Compound with our friend Alex Nanos. What's up, who, everybody? Yeah, we're so happy you're here today. Thank you. We're going to talk about something that is super, super duper important to life, which is breathing. And Alex and I were talking about this just moments ago about how people, we take things for granted mm -hmm. because we just rely on our autonomic, uh, autonomous system, which is all the things that our brain does in the background like a computer, where it's just kind of monitoring and running everything and it keeps us, you know, uh, alive. Thank, thankfully, right? Could you imagine having to think about all the things going on in your body? Yeah, telling your heart to be. Yeah, exactly. Telling your lungs to fill up, telling your blood to go here and there and oxygenate your muscles. And, you know, so luckily we don't have to worry about all those things in life. But breathing is one of those things actually that we can consciously change and manipulate. And we should be doing that. So we're going to go through a very uh, common breathing technique called the 478 uh, breathing method or breathing technique. And it is something that all people should implement in their life at some point throughout the day. This can be done early in the morning, maybe before you start your day, just to help. And you can use it like a meditation. Uh, this might be a really nice thing to do with the middle part of the day, maybe around lunchtime, before or after lunch, just to kind of like maybe de-stress or just help with anxiety. Or this could, or you could do it at all, all these points throughout the day. Or uh, a great thing to do late in the day, maybe before you go to bed. And really what this is doing, it's doing a couple of things. It's, it's getting the good air into our system and getting the bad air out, right? And it's also allowing us to, to relax and to kind of clear our mind a little bit. Much like we have to kind of dump the, the browsing history on our computer, right? And cl clear the cookies and do all, get rid of all that stuff. We need to do that for our bodies and the breath is a great way to do it. So what we're gonna have Alex do today is just put her hands on her belly because Deep belly breathing is where it's at. You, most of us are kind of going through the day breathing up here in our chest, and that's where we start to fail ourselves. So when we can consciously and intentionally make the choice, we want to breathe into our belly. So by putting her hands on her belly, she's going to take in really deep breaths through her nose for four seconds. And then, so the four, seven, eight comes into play. It's four seconds in, seven second hold, and then eight seconds uh, exhaling, okay? And you exhale through the mouth, okay? So go ahead and put the hands on the belly, take a deep breath in for four seconds, really get the, the belly to push out. When you get it, the, the, the breath, you're gonna hold it for seven seconds, just counting to, to yourself. It's nice, you know, seven is like the perfect number. And then once you get there, you just slowly release it out over an eight second period. And then just repeat that. So this should take, I mean, you're only gonna get about four breaths max in a minute if you're doing this properly, right? So it doesn't sound like much, yeah. but you'll be okay. <laughs> because we breathe sha so shallow, we have to take a lot of breaths. But if we do the deep breath, where we're pulling a lot of air into our lungs, right? And then kind of simmering on that air, letting it absorb into our system, right? And then exhaling and doing that kind of slow, um, mindful exhale, it's getting us to get, like I said, expel the dead air or the old air. And yes, that, that is real. What you have, you know, we, we breathe so much, right? Stuff gets kind of stuck or caught in our lungs, believe it or not. So when you're taking in these bigger breaths in and out, try to release the breath until there's nothing left to, to breathe out and that's the whole idea of this so go ahead and show them one more time just you know maybe even turn a little bit to the side just so they watch the belly really extend out as she takes her four second breath she's gonna hold it for seven seconds just nice and relaxed you're not straining to do this and then just release it slowly over eight seconds trying to get that last bit of air out and then repeat the process all right 
Now you can do this for a minute, for two minutes, for three minutes, even up to five minutes or more if, if you really are using it as a meditative type uh, approach. And I just find that when I, I can do this when I'm seated at my desk, you could do this standing, you could do this laying down on the ground and just put your hands on your belly. So if you really wanna relax and get comfortable with it, just make some room wherever you're at, lay on the ground, do the same technique. Close your eyes while you do it. It's so meaningful, so beneficial. It'll help, uh, like I said, it'll help your mindset. It'll help you de-stress. It's a great thing to do maybe before working out or exercise. A great thing to do maybe before an exam or test of some kind. Um, uh, maybe you have a kind of a big day ahead of you and you just need to kind of, you know, just get your mind at ease. For, you always feel better when you breathe. Five o'clock traffic. Five o'clock traffic can be very stressful, right? So anything done uh, like with your breath that's intentional usually has great value, great merit. And it's just something to think a little bit more about because we so take it for granted like a lot of things in life. We don't give it much thought, but we should because uh, the health benefits are just, just huge, right? I mean, there's, I could name like a hundred reasons why focusing on your breath can help you. Uh, in performance, and in, in de-stressing, in, 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 in brain fog, all these different things, right? All right, and there you have it. Thank you so much, Alex, for demonstrating proper breathing. Give that a try, the four, seven, eight breathing technique. Do it for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. I know you'll feel better once you start incorporating that into your day. And before you go, please subscribe to the Critical Bench YouTube channel. Be sure to give this video a like, a thumbs up, Leave a comment below. Uh, let us know what you think about breathing or maybe some, uh, some future video that you'd like us to make about breathing. We thank you so much for watching the Critical Bench YouTube channel and be sure to check that pinned comment below because I have a free gift for you you're gonna want. We'll see you in the next one.